Good morning, friends. So today I am working on another DIY, and this DIY is gonna be a little bit lengthy, so I might break it into two parts. Um, but I'm gonna show you the supplies that I'm gonna be using. We are gonna be making a jewelry display case. And so this jewelry display case is gonna be fairly good size. We're using these 11 by 14 inch frames, and these are from the Dollar Tree. I picked the brown ones because they looked closest to like a dark wood, and that's kind of the look I was going for. Um, so I ended up, I started with three, um, and then I thought that I might need more, so I went back to the Dollar Tree and got three more. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all six, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough on hand because I'll be probably cutting um, one of the frames down. Then I also have a few of these, I think they're supposed to be 11 by 14 mirrors and they have the little gold edging on them. Um, I have three of those, but again, not sure if I'm gonna use all three. I know I'll probably definitely use two of them. Then I have some smaller eight by 10 frames. I picked ones that have different frames these are gonna be part of the second video and this is gonna be the section that we're gonna actually make um, like a display for our jewelry on. Then I have obviously some hot glue. I'm gonna use some hot glue. I have some of my fix all adhesive. Not sure if I'm gonna use the fix all adhesive or not. We will see, but I have it just in case. I have this roll of um, burlap, which has the lace down the center. I got this from Walmart. I believe it was $5 for the roll. I have five rolls of the um, diamond wrap that came from the Dollar Tree. And this is almost like that champagne gold color. And then I have some scissors and I also have some ribbon right here. And this is like a darker burlap ribbon. I used this at Christmas time. It's got some gold around the edging. Um, so I might be using this as well. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to work on the base of our display case and we're gonna work on the top of the display case. And those are gonna be the two portions of the display case that are going to have this burlap and lace ribbon. What I did was I took the cellophane wrap off. I'm taking the glass right out of the frame. I'm kind of just setting that aside. Um, so I have just my plain frame just like this. And then I'm opening up my burlap um, piece that has the lace on it and I'm going to use my glass as kind of a template because this lace is going to go underneath this glass. I'm going to line this glass up so that the lace kind of goes right down the center and I'm going to just take a little marker and I'm just going to trace around the frame so I know what to cut. And you're gonna actually do this twice because you're gonna, like I said, do one for the top and one for the bottom. Okay, so now I have two of these rectangular burlap pieces just like this and I'm going to assemble these right back in the frame. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this no so um, Aline's fabric glue that I have. I actually just got this at um, Joanne Fabrics. I've used it for other things. Um, I'm going to just take a little bit of this and I'm going to go around the corners of the cardboard just to kind of create um, something for the burlap to stick to so it doesn't move around. So again, I just went around the outside edge with some of the glue and I'm going to stick my burlap piece right to that. Kind of just push it down, make sure that it's holding good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I have my piece of burlap glued to the backing. I'm going to just put it right back into the frame. So now we have our piece of burlap in the frame itself, just like this. We should have two of these. So one is gonna be a bottom and one is gonna be a top. All right, so here are my two pieces, my bottom and top pieces. I'm actually going to set one aside um, and I'm going to attach some little feet to it. Now I forgot to mention earlier, um, I have had these little silver plastic napkin rings that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little silver napkin rings and I'm going to take the excess burlap that we cut and we are actually going to wrap these because these are going to be little feet for the bottom of our jewelry display tray. So I put a little bit of hot glue on the ring and I'm just going to place the little burlap piece on top. 
And I'm actually just going to use my scissors just to push it down so that I'm not burning my finger. And I'm going to wrap it around and then I'm going to just trim it off. And then I will glue this glue this little piece down as well. Okay, so a little trick to wrapping your burlap around these little feet here is once you get to the end, if you cut like a V out of the burlap like this, it actually makes it much easier to wrap and it doesn't get so bulky on the inside. I did a few of these and they were just so bulky that it's much easier if you end up cutting like a little V like that on the end. So I just cut my little V, then what I do is I go on the opposite side, I put a ring of glue all around the inside like that. Then I just take my scissors and I just fold it down in. I kind of just work, work around and kind of hold it with my scissors. And then when I get back to that little V area, it, um, it, it ends up folding nicely and there's no bulkiness on the inside of that ring. That's the easiest way that I found to wrap this burlap around these little rings. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip one of my pieces, one of my glass framed pieces like this over. And we're gonna start attaching these feet to the back side. Now I'm gonna do um, one on each corner and I'm gonna be really generous with the glue. And I'm using hot glue because it's sticking to cardboard. And I'm just going to stick those feet right in each corner. Hold them down just sticking it right to the back of the cardboard. All right, so you should have four little feet on the bottom of your frame now. And it should look kind of like that. And it should sit pretty nice and sturdy. So now I've taken apart my third frame because we're going to break this frame down. And we're actually going to be making um, smaller pieces which are going to be the side pieces for the jewelry display case. I'm actually gonna be cutting this glass piece, this 11 by 14 inch glass piece, right in half. Um, so I have two smaller, um, like 11 by seven inch pieces. So I actually got this little cutter at a hardware store, um, just a local hardware store, and it was like $3, so very inexpensive. So we're gonna use this to cut this glass right in half. I am going to lay my glass out. I'm gonna actually lay it right on top of the paper that's underneath it. Um, so I'm just using this as just kind of like a protection. I've got a ruler or a straight edge, and I also have a dry erase fine tipped marker that I'm gonna use to mark the glass. So what I wanna do first is I want to find the center. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made my mark with my dry erase marker on the center of the glass here. I don't know if you can see it, it's kinda of hard to see it, but that is the center. If you want to use gloves for this, you can. Um, I'm not going to but I highly recommend using gloves if you're not comfortable with working with glass. Um, I am actually gonna line my straight edge um, up to this center piece, but then I'm gonna go off to the left about an eighth of an inch because there's about an eighth of an inch between the blade that you see right here and then the side of the cutter, which is gonna rest up against my straight edge. And I just created a little score. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it on the edge of my table. And I'm just going to quickly just snap it. And it should snap right off and have a nice clean edge just like that. So now I have two pieces of glass from that one frame. Now I am actually going to be gluing this glass into place. So I'm going to pull out all of the little tabs on the back of this frame right here. And the little tabs on these type of frames come out fairly easy. If you just wiggle them back and forth, they come right out. All of the little 
tabs are out. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to now cut our frame down. I have my little trusty serrated edge bread knife and I use this thing whenever I'm cutting picture frames. This thing never gets dull, it's awesome. You can use a little craft knife if you want. This is just what I like to use. I have a little cutting board as well. So what I've done is I've laid one of the small pieces of glass back in the frame, just as a reference. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marker again and I'm gonna mark where the corner is on the inside of the frame. I don't know if you can see that. I've made a little mark just where the frame glass ends. So now I'm gonna take my glass back out. Okay, so I am gonna also use this little uh, ruler that's got a right angle and it's got a 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna use the 45 degree angle because that's what I'm going to cut. Here's my 45 degree angle right here. Little measuring tool up against the flat side of the frame. And I'm just gonna move it over until the end of my um, angle meets the line that I drew with my marker. And then I'm just going to draw another little line so you, we can see where the 45 degree angle is going to be cut right there. And I'm gonna flip it around and I'm going to do the same thing but the opposite way on the other side. Just line it right up on that little 45 degree angle. All right, so there is my cut piece. And again, our glass, our glass should fit right on the inside like that. And you should have two 45 degree angles on the top of that piece. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to just take our top piece that we cut off and we're gonna very carefully, I don't want this to break so I'm gonna try to just do this very carefully. Um, I'm gonna try to just pull these little tabs out that hold the corners together. So here's my top piece. Now we're gonna take our hot glue and our piece of glass and we are gonna start and put um, just a couple little dots of hot glue. I do one in each corner and then one in the bottom. And then I'll do the same here up the corner, middle. Just a little dab of glue. And I'm gonna put my glass right into place. Just like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my top piece that I have here. And again, I'm just gonna put a couple little dots of glue right along this top piece and I'm gonna just glue that. And I've taken the mirror out of the frame and so now we just have the mirror without the frame on it. And I've also taken the glass out of the 11 by, another 11 by 14 frame and I have that sitting right here because we're actually gonna cut this one down again as well. What I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my good edges are gonna be at the bottom, because that's the spot that you're gonna see. You won't see the top pieces right here because they'll be covered. I wanna make sure when I'm gluing that I have plenty of glue right readily available and that it's good and hot. If it's not hot enough, um, it won't stick well. So I am going to start by putting a generous amount of glue all along the side of my display case, right like that. And I'm gonna take my frame with the good corners down and I'm going to make sure it's lined up and I'm going to place it right on top of my frame like that and I'm gonna hold it into place I'm not gonna let it go I'm gonna hold it right there for um, probably a good minute or so just so that I know it sets well you can kind of run like a bead of hot glue along the inside seam just to make sure that there is enough holding it in place so there's one of our sides that's what one of our sides looks like and we're gonna do the exact same thing 
to the other side. All right, so this is what you should have now. You should have a base piece with two side pieces. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your mirrored piece. Now your mirrored piece, if you've measured everything correctly and glued everything correctly, should fit perfectly in the back of this jewelry display case, just like that, okay? So what we're now going to do is we're gonna run another bead of glue along the little indentation here on the um, top portion of the bottom frame. So I'm gonna put some glue right in here. Just like that. And I'm gonna stick my frame, or I'm gonna stick my glass piece right down in that bead of glue. And like I said, it should fit perfectly in that frame. Now I'm also going to take a little bit of my glue and I'm going to put it on the inside of the side pieces just to have some um so i'm going to put it on the inside of each one of these side pieces to kind of hold that glass in place all right so this is where we are at right now all right now we're going to glue our top piece on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my hot glue gun and i've got my top piece right here I'm just setting it aside i want to make sure i got plenty of hot glue i'm going to put a good amount of hot glue along the both top side pieces. Okay guys, so this is where we're at. I'm sorry, I lost a little bit of the footage. I was editing and for some reason my video wouldn't upload correctly. So I'm remaking the last part of this uh, DIY. What I've gone ahead and done is I've glued the top piece onto the both side pieces. And I've also cut a piece of the frame to go around the mirror that is the backer, the backer plate. So you can see that it's now framed on the top and you can see the mirror down underneath as well. And then I put some of the diamond wrap ribbon to cover up all of the seams. So I put one here, one down the bottom. Um, I put one up at the top right here. I'm actually still working on it. So I've got another piece here and then I'm gonna be doing another one at the bottom right down here like that. So that is like the base of the display cabinet already complete. Um, like I said, we're going to make this a two-part video because I now will be making actual displays for the jewelry to go on. And I'm going to be using some more frames to make that. So stay tuned because I will have those videos up probably next week sometime. Um, I'm going to work on those this week. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Facebook page, The Pixie Dust Housewife. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care.